mental health. Let's talk about it. Um, it's really a struggle to really go in deep about mental health, all the blooming guidelines. I feel like more and more it's harder to talk about because I've had some serious dark days that I can't really talk about or go into too much detail. I um we'll go back to the start. Well, we, I was a really happy kid in the nineties, and people will hear me talk about the nineteen nineties a lot and how much I loved those times and was so happy and blah 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 blah. Roll on to the early two thousands and um, my depression began right in the middle of secondary school. Why did it begin? number of factors. Um, I got too obsessed with video games. I was a perfectionist to the point where I actually had to stop playing games. I'm not joking. Um, I was bullied at school and uh, other things happened. I won't get in. Maybe I'll get into the. This is not the video for those things. Um, you know, I was the ugliest kid at school. Um, and my my confidence was, was I had no confidence. And I don't think it helped. There's another subject for another day. I don't think it helped not having a father figure. You know, I don't need my seed donor now, but I perhaps needed him back then or some sort of father figure. Never had a father figure in my life. My granddad passed away when I was four. So the only person I really looked up to was my uncle, Graham. Um, Great, great man. I wish I had more of a bond with him now, but it is what it is. Um, so, if, you know, there's a lot, lot of different things. You know, looking back as a 32 year old, looking back at the times when I was a teenager, a lot of things going on that I think led to my depression. I didn't know what I was battling with back then. So, I was fucking, I'm just going to say, I was fucking miserable as a teenager. I'll just say it. I did not enjoy myself as a teenager. I was miserable at school, come home from school, couldn't play games because I was that messed up. And then I was back to school the next day and miserable at school, got home from school, couldn't play, enjoy myself because I was that messed up. <laughs> and not a lot of people knew what was going on. I hid it from family and friends. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't, you know, like I said, I didn't realize what I was dealing with. And then. You know, it continued throughout my life, so um didn't have any hobbies because of it. Um, there was kind of a funny side to it as well. If there is to bring humour into things, um, and people laugh at this, but I, I didn't keep up with Rangers so much, <laughs> and people laugh at that. So, you know, there's Rangers. Why are you keeping up with them? Anyways, but like. My mental health affected everything. Like I couldn't just sit and watch and enjoy the stuff that I used to enjoy a lot anymore, like films and rangers. The only damn thing I seemed to be able to still keep up with a lot was friggin' fake fights wrestling. It seemed to be the only thing that my mind would allow me to watch. Wrestling, damn wrestling. Anyways, so I guess there is a little bit of humour how I was... Now, I was still a big Rangers fan, but I was so distracted with so much of my demons going on that I could not, I had to put all my focus, nearly all my focus on them, because I was really ill. And I've had some dark days then and now, and I actually will go up to date, I had a, quite an episode yesterday, Um, not going to get into things, but... One of my family members was upset, really upset with um, we had lost someone. That's all I'm going to mention. Uh, a neighbor, old neighbor. Anyways, um, it when when these things trigger off my emotions, and uh, I went from feeling really I didn't show it, but really upset because. I love life and I hate when I hear people are gone and it's hot. It's horrible. 
And um, it's even, I hate seeing some of my family really upset, obviously. And uh, so I range from being upset to being angry. And my mind was spilled all over the place yesterday. So um, I did have a bit of an episode on my private Twitter and private Facebook. Thank God there's only there's only um, so many people on there. I've only got eight followers, but I don't. I apologise in a tweet because it's it's you know I just was like blurting out stuff and getting angry and um <sighs> mentioning things that I really shouldn't be mentioning. And you know I apologise in a tweet later on to the, my eight followers, and I hope they forgive me. Um. But, yeah, but overall, good news, overall, I've been really on top of things, actually, despite being very lonely at times and having, I've lost all my real life friends. <laughs> I'll, I'll get into that another time, perhaps. I don't want this video to be too long. But despite, um... You know, if you look at my life now, thinking, "Oh, it's this life must be terrible." Actually, it's not. I'm I'm a stronger person than I ever was before. Um, because I know who I'm battling with now. I'm um, I believe I have been battling demons over the years. Um, take that, you know, um, and when I realized what I was battling, I started to get in control of my head much much more so um this is a bit of a ramble but i'm just being raw real here with you folks so what do i do to try and you know be happier and blah 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 um i, I delved into faith for a while that actually helped me that ha helped me a lot i started going to uh faith groups with a friend and i remember going there for the first time and I was just I was just not used to this environment everybody was there that there was nobody judging you there was nobody I wasn't like I was in a bar and people were bitching about you and being nasty and you know you, I don't f I was maybe going to tell this mental health and nights out talk about what it's like to to have mental health problems and uh, go on nights out um but i ended up at this group and i was just taken aback there was so much love in this group i'd never seen before outside of my mum and sister and some very other few family members and now never been used to this love genuine love and uh, that helped so um faith i, I believe uh, faith de definitely helps some people i'm not saying it helps everybody um i have my my problems with uh, some aspects of it um but um it, it did, did help me also um i think music helps a lot you know just uh like drown out your negative thoughts with positive music that really helps me um go out for walks every day um you know try and get out of the house at least once a day and surround yourself with positive people get like this you know drama channels for example if you're like i never watched the drama channels i've never been a drama channel never will be a drama channel i think they're all the drama channels are garbage and i'll my advice to people is if you are if you've got mental health problems and you're serious about um Again, better get get rid of all the garbage from it. Don't don't watch negativity on YouTube or television. Get rid of all that junk. Throw it in the trash. Because they will just they will just bring you down to their level. You might not be doing the drama or participating in drama, but if you're just watching that or or garbage on the television all the time, twenty four seven that it's going to bring you down to their level and you're going to feel bloody miserable about you anyways what really helps me too is making videos 
um, I love to create. I um, this is one of the times I'm taking off my performance mask. Um, I wish I were like what I was like in my videos. I'm not like that at all. Got a little next to a little confidence, and despite you know being on top of things overall these past year or so, I still you know it takes one thing to trigger it, and I still have um. My episodes, I, I, I feel out of control of, but um, I'm feeling much better today. Um, I, I will say, I think it is best, I made a mistake yesterday, I think it is best if you're having one of these triggering moments to not be on social media, just shut the damn laptop down. Um, I would say I would, I, I would switch my phone off too, but I never use my flip phone. I've not had a smartphone in years and i'll probably never get a smartphone again to be honest but uh, creating videos being creative really helps me i don't care how shit my videos may be to other people I could not give a flying monkey turd um but <sighs> being creative acting performing entertaining trying to be funny really helps with my demons so I'd recommend, you know, but try and get a balance. Don't get too addicted. I don't think it's healthy to get too addicted with making videos and rushing them up, putting them up. Try and find a balance in your life. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. It doesn't really matter how good your damn video is. At the end of the day, none of this matters. I'm not taking one of these 1,550 videos with me when I go on to the next stage of life. End of the day, it does not matter how much your video is bad or good. But if you're enjoying creating it and others are getting entertainment from it, go for it. That's why, you know, this, I won't be doing many more of these type of videos because it is a difficult subject to talk about. And um, I was close, to, I'm close to tears talking about it right now. You can maybe tell by my voice. Because it's a raw subject. But um, my advice is post positive music, being creative, doing what you enjoy, find that balance in life, going for walks every day, surrounding yourself with positive people, not that negative nonsense, because I really believe that will just bring you down and make you worse. Anyways, let me know in the comments below how you deal with your demons, your mental illness, your depression, give me advice. Even though I've been battling this since uh, 2001, you know, I don't know everything about it either. I'm still learning, but I feel like I know what I'm battling now and I've been really on top of my demons overall, despite having episodes here and there still. But overall, I'm, I'm much better than I was in 2001 and way, way, way much better than I was in 2015. 2015, I was off the rails and going nowhere. So let me know in the comments below how you battle this. I think it needs talked about. Um, and, and then I thought I would do a wee raw video talking about my history with mental illness my demons and what I've did to battle them back and what works with me. So yeah, outside every day, being creative, performing, uh, positive, positive music and surrounding yourself with positive people I think is really, really important. And in 2020, I hope to find those type of people in my life, in real life. I've got some positive people online but I've, I'm, I'm lacking positive people offline and i'm going to try and change that next year right god bless